Hey, it is Michael Douglas James, and I'm coming back at you with another video. Alright, so let's talk about some Star Wars updates. The Han Solo standalone film, well, the directors got fired because they butted heads with Kathleen Kennedy. I would advise you, that woman is very not so when you want to butt heads with, like, ever. Um, she's produced some great films with both Lucas and Spielberg. Um, and I would, you know, you do what that lady says. So she hired Ron Howard, our very favorite character from Happy Days. Everybody loved him on Happy Days. He worked with Lucas in the past. He's a huge Star Wars fan. Um, some of his work is good and some of it is just kind of iffy. So on that note, you know, I'm excited to see what he does. But this is what I wanted to talk about is that these like one-off Star Wars movies that don't go along with, you know, the actual, I guess you could say, soap opera of the series. Um, so, like, these one-off movies, like, Rogue One was the last one, now the Han Solo movie. Uh, all of these movies tend to just, I guess, how do I put it? There's always something bad that happens with them. Something wrong. It's like they are cursed. Um... And, yeah, at the end of the day, they, you know, Rogue One was, like, a decent film, but you, we look back at what happened in that film, you know, after they saw the, you know, heads, the big guys at Disney saw the first version of the film, they were like, okay, go back and refilm X, Y, and Z. You know, they didn't like it. And then, so that's why they went back and refilmed things. That's why they added in Princess Leia at the end. That's why they added in Darth Vader's whole tyrant and killing people at the end. Um, and changed up a couple of the scenes in the movie. So, you know, I feel like now with the Han Solo movie, it just started off on that bad note again. And it's just one bad note after the next, after the next, with these one-offs all the time. And hopefully, you know, maybe they'll make a good movie out of it. Rogue One, I could say, was somewhat of a decent movie. Um, I had my likes and my dislikes about it. But, you know, that's, you know, maybe in another video, probably not. Um, so that's what's currently going on in the Star Wars drama right now. Uh, Ron Howard is really excited about doing this. I think he's going to be a good director, and I know he won't butt heads with uh, Kathleen Kennedy, because why would you ever do that? That woman has put together some of the best movies ever. Just go with what she says. That's all I've got to say. Um, but those are my notes right now. Uh... Hopefully this is good. It's just every time you hear about a one-off Star Wars film, there's always so much controversy compared to, you know, just the regular series. You're not hearing much controversy around Episode 8 or filming within Episode 9, except for what's going to happen with uh, Carrie Fisher's character, Princess Leia. So we'll figure all of that out soon. But that's, you know, my Star Wars update for June, end of June. Um, probably do one, and I'll do another one, you know, as the months progress, especially with episode 8 coming out. There's a lot of stuff that is being rumored to say, and I'll get into that in another video. I just kind of wanted to go on a rant right now about the Han Solo film that I'm not really excited for yet. Hopefully, it, it'll be good, but I have to see what they do. I feel like some of the... With the outside of the soap opera of, uh, you know, 4 through 6, uh, 1 through 3, and now 7 through 9. I feel like outside of the, the actual soap opera, they need to do more with the films. Um, everybody forgets about the Ewok films. I mean, those one-offs, they did happen. Look them up. They're out there. You, you'll see them. So we'll see everything that's going on with that. Um, I would really like to see from Star Wars as an Old Republic movie, but they'll probably never do that. Um, or, you know, some just straight-up Sith movies, like a Darth Maul movie, or maybe a Palpatine movie, but we'll see with that. So right now, new director, Ron Howard, favorite Happy Days character, he should do a good job. Uh, we'll see how the film's going, but for them to already have this type of hiccup, hopefully there's not many more. On that note, I'm out. Peace out, Girl Scouts.